What's going on everybody? In this video I'll be comparing my 7900 XTX PC up against my RTX 4090 PC. We're going to be looking at Alan Wake 2 on a side-by-side -side comparison at 4K native with all the settings maxed out except for the ray tracing. On the second half of the video we're going to look at FSR quality against DLSS quality also on a side-by-side -side comparison and this is just out of curiosity and for fun just to see how these GPUs perform in this very demanding game. I've also gone ahead and overclocked both GPUs to as high as I can get them to the point where they're stable. So let's jump into the settings and take a look. Supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. This here is the settings for the 7900 XTX setup. So we're running everything maxed out at 4K with the ray tracing disabled. And this here is the settings for the RTX 4090 setup, which is essentially the same exact settings, also without the ray tracing disabled. So 4K native. There's the car. So where's the deputy? <laughs> If you haven't seen any of my previous comparisons, you'll come to realize that I use two different PCs. It's a two PC comparison. The 7900X TX paired with a 5900X CPU and the 4090 with a 7800X 3D. There's a couple of reasons why I do this and I've made a video explaining it which I'll link below if you're curious. But basically, in this comparison, even when we get to the FSR and DLSS part, we are GPU bound especially for the 7900XDX, it's at 100% utilization, pulling 460 watts consistently, which is what this GPU pulls when it's running flat out with my overclock profile. Looking at how both GPUs are performing, I'd say they're doing very well for what is a very demanding game, and they're both running at 4K native with ultra settings on what is one of the most demanding areas of the game, especially from what I've seen, these heavy foliage areas, forest areas, are very demanding. Now here we can see that the 4090 is around 20 to 25 percent ahead of the 7900XTX, which is kind of expected, and it is something that the 7900XTX will catch up on a little when we drop the FSR and DLSS quality. However, I think the reason for that is because the 4090 is hitting CPU limitations with DLSS quality. And you will notice that on the power consumption where it's consistently pulling around 430 to 450 watts now. Once we hit DLSS section, it'll drop to 390 watts or 400 watts around that area. So unlike the 7900XTX, which is much easier to read as far as utilization, where it's it'll always say 100% and 460 watts when it's flat out. The 4090 doesn't really work like that. And I think it's because it has, you know, its own RT cores and tensor cores. So I think when those aren't really being utilized, the GPU doesn't hit 100%. Because if you're running path tracing, it will usually hit that. So that's kind of what's happening. And from what I've observed anyway, I'm no expert on these architectures and everything like that. But another thing that kind of stands out with this game in particular is that I always notice that AMD GPUs tend to use and allocate more VRAM than the NVIDIA counterparts. Uh, and I believe that's because NVIDIA use a more efficient compression method for their VRAM. In this particular game, they're actually almost identical, which doesn't doesn't always happen a lot. So that's that's kind of interesting to see. But anyway, we'll be arriving on the FSR part soon, and we'll be able to get a 4K 60 plus experience on both GPUs, which is great, and the game looks great as well on both GPUs. It's fantastic. So here now we're going to turn on FSR quality for the 7900XTX and we're going to do DLSS quality for the RTX 4090. And as you can see here, now we're above 60 FPS. The game feels very good to play. Another thing I wanted to mention, because it sometimes is brought up 
is the differences in color with both GPUs. When you're playing the game, there is no noticeable difference. However, because I'm using the AMD software and the NVIDIA Shadowplay, GeForce Shadowplay, to record the footage with, it's been recorded through the GPU's codec, which they use different settings, and the footage always looks like this. If I was to use, say, a capture card, uh, the image would look the same. So that is just the recording. Um, in person, they look identical. Unless, you know, you have like a, an issue with a cable or depending on the display, I don't know. But I use a LG C1 for my 4K gameplay. And I use an Alienware 34-inch QD OLED ultra-wide uh, display for my 1440p ultra-wide. Which is usually what I do most of my gaming anyway. Because um, I mainly play on a desktop setup. And that is perfect for me. I would say both GPUs are doing an excellent job here, obviously. They're both uh, very high-end cards. I hope you guys like this comparison I made. And if you have any tips or suggestions for me, you can leave them below in the comments section. I'd like to hear thoughts of what you guys think. Or, or maybe you want to suggest a game I take a look at or compare. I can do that if I have the time and if I think it'll be um, a, a good, a cool, interesting video to make. With that out of the way, if you guys did like this, give it a like. If you want to see more content, that is kind of like this focused on performance image quality pc hardware that sort of thing that's something i'm passionate about you can subscribe if you want to i want to thank you for watching this video if you did watch it this far i really appreciate it and i will see you on the next one thanks bye a page full of text on one side not a printout written with a typewriter old school Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm, like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm, killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, words. the words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them.